Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you noticed, I changed my channel name to Secret Agent Ting and I hope you like it. I decided to put my channel a little bit different way. And as you can see, everyone usually prepares this way when they're talking and they're gonna diamond paint for whip and chat. But I decided to do it slightly different because usually I don't have what to talk in a chat. And I decided to read a book. I was trying a few times to read some different book. I was recording and editing and doing so many things. I wasn't successful because all the time something happened. Uh, or someone was disturbing or someone was calling me and I needed to stop recording or I couldn't, couldn't pronounce the names and words and things like that, as you know, like... My first language is not English, but I'm trying my best. And I edit video with diamond painting together and add it together with the audio and everything. And then I didn't have enough space in my phone. And smart me with the technology, I took and deleted. <laughs> That's the funny thing. All the files in my phone. I deleted all the videos, all the audios, everything completely. I couldn't get back anything. It was all gone. And I said, you know what? That's mean. It's not meant to be. That book not supposed to be read. And then I decided, okay, that book is more like serious. What else I could read? What people would maybe enjoy? And I decided, why not children's book? And my son loves Upturn called David Valiant. And he had few of the books. And I found a book called Midnight Gang. And this is the book which one I'm going to read. You can, you're going to watch how I'm diamond paint. And I will put on the top my audio how I'm reading the book. Uh, I would really guys appreciate if you would write down your true opinion. What do you think? of my reading do you think it's a good idea to do it and yeah just write down your comments what do you think of this video and yeah uh, of course if you're subscribed already i really do appreciate that if you're not subscribed yet and you listen to this video and you decide it's like okay this chick is crazy and you want to subscribe i'm really appreciating that too don't forget of course to press the like button and write down your true comments okay guys See you on the end of this video. Enjoy your listening. Bye. I'm back again. I just forgot to say, guys, I'm going to work on Diamond Art Club painting, which one calls uh, Christmas Cuddles. And it's by... Bye, 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 Abraham Hunter. And it's going to look like this. Sorry for glare. We're moving the glare away. It's going to look like this and it's 69 by 51 centimeter and it's fantastic. It's for my son because he loves some foxes and I'm nearly done, very close to done with this painting and I'm working with one of the TJ pens. I won this pen on the giveaway and that's my favorite pen so far and I'm working with the Randy's uh, putty. I took it out from the original packaging and put it in a Diamond Art Club little heart. Smells like uh, apple pie, I think. So apple, 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 one of the apple scents. It's very, very nice. And yeah, guys, enjoy the listening now, really. And see you on the other side. Bye. David Valium, The Midnight Gang. Welcome to the world of the Midnight Gang. This is Lord Fund Hospital in London, England. It was built many years ago and should have been demolished many years ago. The hospital was named in honor of its founder, the late Lord Fund. Me, the patient in the children's ward, high up on the 44th floor on the hospital. This is Tom. He is 12 and goes to a posh boarding school. He has hurt his head. Amber is 12. 
She has broken both of her arms and both of her legs, so has been in a wheelchair for some time. Robert, Robin is also 12. He is recovering from an operation to save his eyesight and for now can't see a thing. George is 11 and from the east end of London, which makes him Cockney. He is recovering from having his tonsils, tonsils taken out in operation. Sally is just 10 and the youngest of the group. Because she is so ill, Sally spends most of her time sleeping. Downstairs in one of the grown-up's wards is the oldest patient in the hospital, 99-year-old Nelly. Hundreds of people work at Lord's Fund Hospital. Among them are Porter, a lonely figure whose real name is Mystery. His job is to move people and things around the hospital, which he never seems to leave. Matron. Despite running the children's ward, she doesn't like children at all. Dr. Loopers has just become a doctor and it's rather easy to fall. Toasty is the hospital's dinner lady. She brings meals round and uh, round on a trolley to all the patients. Nurse Messi is the tired looking nurse who never ever seems to get a night off work. Dilly is one of the hospital's cleaners. You can always tell where she has cleaned as there will be a long trail of fag ash. Mr. Cod is the old chemist. He has hearing aid and thin, thick glasses. Mr. Cod runs the pharmacy in the hospital. Sir Quentin's trialist is the upper class hospital principal and is charge of everyone and everything, is in charge of everyone and everything. From outside the hospital there is Mr. Thule, the headmaster of Tom's school, St. Willard's boarding school for boys. Midnight is the time when all the children are fast asleep. Except, of course, for the Midnight Gang. That is the time when their adventures are just beginning. Chapter 1. Monster Man. Arr! screamed the boy. The most monstrous face he had ever seen was peering down at him. It was the face of a man, but it was completely loop-sided. One side was larger than it should have been, and the other was smaller. The face smiled as if to calm the boy down, only to re reveal a set of broken and rotten teeth. This made the boy even more scared than before. Arr! he screamed again. You will be all right, young sir. Please try to be calm, slurred the man. His, his face was so misshapen that so was his speech. Who was this man? And where was he taking the boy? It was only ta then the boy realized he was laying on his back, staring straight up. It felt almost as if he was floating, but something was rattling. He was rattling. The boy realized he must be laying on a trolley, a trolley with wonky wheels. His head clouded with questions. Where was he? How did he get here? Why couldn't he remember a thing? And most importantly, who was this terrifying man-monster? The trolley traveled slowly down the long corridor. The boy could hear the sound of something being dragged along the floor. It sounded like the squeak of the shoe. He looked down. The man was limping. Just like his face on side of his body was smaller than the other... So the man was dragging his withheard leg along with him. It looked like every moment might be painful. Bang! A pair of tall doors swung open and the trolley trundled into a room and came to a stop. Then some curtains were drawn down round the boy. I hope that wasn't too uncomfortable, young sir, said the man. The boy thought it was curious that this Man called him sir. He had never been called sir in his life. 
He was only 12. Sir was a title revealed only for teachers at his boarding school. Now you wait here. I'm just the porter. Let me get the nurse. Nurse. As he lay there, the boy felt strangely disconnected from his own body. It felt limp lifeless. The pain thought was in his head. It was throbbing, hot. If the feeling could be co color, it would be red. A bright, hot, raging red. The pain was so intense, he closed his eyes. When he opened them, he realized he was staring straight up a bright fluorescent light. This made his head ache even more than before. Then he heard the sound of footsteps approaching. The curtains was whisked back. A large older lady in a blue and white uniform with the hat leaned over and examined the boy's head. Leaned over to examine the boy's head. Dark circles framed her blue shot eyes. Gray, very hairy squeated on her head. Her face was red raw, as if she had scrubbed it with the cheese grater. In brief, she had the appearance of someone who had no slept for a week and was angry about it. Oh dear me, oh dear dear me, oh dear 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 me, she muttered to nobody in particular. In this confused state, the boy took a moment to realize this woman was in fact dressed as a nurse. At last, the boy realized where he was. A hospital. He had never been in one before, except the day he was born, and he couldn't remember that. The boy's eyes drifted up to the lady's name, name badge. Nurse Missy. Lord Fund Hospital. That is bump. A big bump. A very big bump. No, does this hurt? Now, does this hurt? She said as she poked the boy hard on his head with her finger. Ow! He screamed so loudly it echoed along the corridor. Some slight pain, muttered the nurse. Now just let me get the doctor. Doctor? The curtain was whisked across and then back again. As the boy lay there starting... At the staring at the ceiling, he couldn't hear the sound of footsteps departing. Doctor! She barked out again, now some way down the corridor. Coming, nurse! Came a voice from the far off. Quickly! She shouted. Sorry, said the voice. Then there was the sound of footsteps approaching at speed. The curtains was whisked back. A young, pointy-faced man breathed in his long white coat trailing behind him. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, announced a posh voice. It was a doctor, and he was somehow out of breath at having had to run. Looking up, the boy read the name, the man's name badge, Dr. Loopers. That is a big bum. Does it hurt? The man took out a pencil from his breast pocket. He then held on the end and tapped the boy's head with it. Ow! The boy screamed again. It wasn't as bad as being jabbed in by gnarly old finger, but it still hurt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please don't report me. I've only just graduated as a doctor, you see. I won't, muttered the boy. Are you sure? Quite sure. Thank you. Now I need to make sure I, I cross the eyes and dots the T's. I just have this little admissions form to fill in. The man then proceeded to roll out a form that looked as if it might take a week to complete. The boy sighed. So young man, began the doctor in a sing-song tone that, that he hoped might make this boring task fun. What's your name? The boy's mind went blank. He had never forgotten his own name before. Name? Asked the doctor again. Name? But try as he might, the boy couldn't remember, remember it. I don't know, he spluttered. 
Okay, guys, I read the first chapter and I would like to see what are you thinking of it. Uh, yeah, please let me know. David Valiant, The Midnight Gang. Hi, I hope you guys enjoy this video audio. Please, please, please be true and write down in a comment section down below what do you think of, of my new lip and read. Um, will it be great success or maybe I shouldn't do it? What do you think? Was it interesting for you? Listen, did you understand everything what I'm reading? And was it enjoyable, you know, like now I read only one chapter and maybe you like it and because there's a short chapters maybe i can read two chapters at a time you know and yeah guys please let me know and like i said if you already subscribe to my channel really do appreciate it guys if you're not yet maybe you consider to subscribe write down the comments press the like button uh, share my video if you would like to and I'm going to share my coffee account. I have a coffee account as well. Uh, of course, not expected, but very appreciated. If you want to support my channel, maybe I'm going to buy some new book to read, you know, guys, for you. Or maybe some new diamond painting for, for you to show while I'm reading the book. And yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy it. I can't wait to see the comments. What do you think of it? And see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a fantastic day.